We're a nation, but all nations need patriots. So I looked up the word patriot. A patriot is a person who is devoted and ready to support or defend his or her nation. Every nation needs patriots. Every nation needs people who are willing to put it all on the line for the cause of that nation. America, as wicked as she is, yet she's a nation, the greatest nation that has ever existed in the last 6,000 years. But America needed patriots. One man by the name of Nathan Hale was facing a firing squad. And they asked this man, what are your last words? Now, when a man is facing death, you want to know what are your last words? Because those are the most serious words a human being will utter in their lifetime, is their last words. Nathan Hale said, my only regret is that I have but one life to give for my country. That's a spirit. We're not dealing with white or black. We're dealing with an attitude and a mindset that people must have when you are talking about establishing a nation. Now, once the nation is established, there'll be people that are in it that may or may not be that committed, but to set a nation up you have to be willing to put it all on the line. This is why Master Farad Muhammad chose the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. He wasn't looking for eloquence. He wasn't looking for education. He was looking for a spirit and a heart and a love that would cause him to put it all on the line to establish for you and I a real nation. <laughs> Master Farad Muhammad asked him a question. What will be your reward in regards to the destruction of the devil? And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad answered, peace and happiness. But then he said, I will give all that I have and all that is within my power to see the day for which I have waited 379 years. Well, those weren't just words. That wasn't just idle talk. That wasn't theory and hypothesis. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad put it on the line. Face death. Face prison. Face condemnation faced the most vicious enemy and stood through it all and persevered and built for us a nation that we can say, I belong to. Black America owes the Honorable Elijah Muhammad gratitude. When a man spends the best years of his life sacrificing, that's not lightweight. That's love at the highest level. The scripture says greater love has no man than to give his life for a friend. It takes that kind of commitment, brothers and sisters, to build a nation. Now, if you want to join a club, pay your dues, come to a meeting every now and then, Go to the National Convention every now and then and be comfortable, be bourgeois, be a suburbanite. 
Put your children in soccer practice. Let your daughter be cheerleaders. But if you accepted Islam and you said you wanted to build a nation, then come on and help Minister Farrakhan build a real nation. He didn't call us to join a club. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has put it all on the line. He said, I will rebuild the work of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad or die trying. That's the kind of man I can follow. That's the kind of man I was looking for all the days of my life. So it's really time out for a lot of talk. We've been the most well-taught black people in the annals of human history. What else is there for me to say that you haven't already heard? We have been taught by the clearest teacher of truth that has ever lived. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. But at a certain point, the Word has to become flesh and dwell. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has followed the blueprint of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad 100%. It took the Honorable Elijah Muhammad nearly 30 years to establish the business development, farms, factories, airplanes banks, supermarkets. 30 years! It wasn't until the mid-60s and the late 60s that you began to see economic development. But he had to lay a base. He had to lay the base of the word that he had been given that was revealed to him. 